Hello everyone, my name is Dina and I'm here to tell you about how to repair a chromatic harmonica. So on my walk home tonight from a folk festival, I was being a little inspired and decided to drag my 120 year old refurbished, personally refurbished, so I did it myself, chromatic uh, Kosh harmonica. And these things are discontinued and very hard to find. So I was devastated when all of a sudden my nut had fallen out on the walk and I couldn't find it anywhere and I didn't know how or what to do to replace it really. So what I did is I took apart one of my new harmonicas and I replaced the nut. And I'm gonna show you how that is accomplished today. This is the chromatic harmonica. That is the nut I replaced. I'm not sure if you can focus in on that or not. And there is the screw. Now, because the other one looks really old in comparison, I'm going to replace it so that it doesn't look so weird. And here we go. So there it is again. And the best thing to do is to hold the nut in place and turn it out but it really is almost like a spring release when you do actually get the nut off. So you, ha you can almost really ha have to hang on to the pieces together. Otherwise they could fly apart and you'll end up with a real mess in your hands. So just delicately, without scratching your metal, of course, because it is a really delicate and beautiful instrument. Take the nut or the screw out while holding the nut with your finger. There, it screws out. Flip it over, screw back in, and push the nut out. That way, it doesn't it doesn't fall apart before you get a chance to actually put the uh, nut back on. So here's the new nut. I'm going to spin it with my finger first to secure it in place, so that when I turn it over, same thing. It won't spring release into my hand and cause a real mess. So you hold on to it again. And as you can see, it's it's a Phillips screwdriver. It's really easy. You just hold on. And now I can feel that the tension's already there. So you turn it back over. And simple, easy peasy. You gotta make sure that you're holding this. At the same time screwing, which is not so easy peasy. So what I've learned to do is clamp it one way or the other. And since I don't have any actual clamps, anything you can do or use is the best thing in the world, including your thighs. Now, if you don't plan on doing any kind of repairs in the future, it might be a good idea to put some Loctite on that. But I plan on continuously fixing this thing until it falls apart so badly that I can't do anything to fix it. And that's how you fix a chromatic. All done. Nice and tight. And as you can see, I'll pick it back up and bring it back up so you can see me. And now the pair is finished. You have a working 120 year old Honer chromatic scale that you can play. Thank you and have a great day. And please like and subscribe my page. And cheerio from Canada. Bye bye.